Hey everyone, Ava Pyle here, and today I'm going to be doing another action figure review. And on this one, what do you happen to get if you cross Godzilla and Bowser together? Well, you get this guy from BID Toys. Now the packaging isn't really anything special. For one, you can't even read any of it, it's all in Japanese. But I do, well, there's a little bit of English. Uh, choking, small parts, not for under three year old children. Uh, it's an adult collectible, not a toy. Recommended for 15 age and up. And a little bit talking about how the packaging, uh, just to protect the product. But if there's any damage, no refunds or replacements. Now, they do have another one, uh, which is actually Mario merged with Ultraman. But, I just wanted the Bowser because, as you know, I do a lot of Godzilla reviews. So, I think this guy will fit right in with the rest of them. So, why don't we open it up and take a closer look. And, this one is real easy to uh, do. You just you slide this right out. And as you can see, it has a little white silhouettes down at the bottom. Just take it, tap this plastic piece, and he comes right out. Now, doesn't this guy just look cool? So he has obviously the look of Bowser. He also has the skin. Or, well, the skin texture of Godzilla. And he also has the back spines on the shell. So they managed to keep both of the uh, traits from both of them that you would definitely notice. And just merged them together. I like how the eyes are this really white, white with the red pupils. If you look, he has a very bright red tongue and kind of yellowish teeth. And he's got this light gray for the claws. The fins have a bit of a darker gray around the edges. Same for the detailing. Around all the black on his skin, he has that darker gray all over. The shell is just the black. That's pretty cool. Now this guy actually can move. Just his arms though. It looks like he's... Maybe, like a goalie trying to catch a soccer ball. Wouldn't it be cool if they came with like a mini atomic blast beam or something? Just a small one. Maybe you know, like three inches long, four. That would have been pretty good. But I mean, it's a great looking figure. Uh, it's sturdy and hard, but it doesn't feel like it's. Uh, Hard, it it kind of feels like it's hollow, which I assume it is because it's so lightweight. So like I said, just the arms move. It has good movability. You can get it almost all the way in the back. But then when you go forward, the elbow hits the uh, his shell right here. So this is as far down as it'll go. And when I was unpackaging uh, this guy, I noticed he has this, uh, uh, I don't know if any of you would really, depending on your age, would recognize the smell. Uh, toys back in the day used to have this really particular kind of plastic smell. Uh, and this guy had it. It reminded me of well, my childhood, opening up different things like Ghostbuster, Ninja Turtles. It just has that really particular, peculiar smell to it. Not a strong smell either, where as soon as I opened the package, it was all over. But man, this guy just looks great. So for the, main, uh, for the most part, it's just Bowser. With like a Godzilla template skin put on. Which I think is cool. Now, I wonder how they would have looked if they went with a uh, the other way around, where it was mainly Godzilla, but with Bowser colors. I think that would be a good one for them to try to uh, 
sell if they ever do any more in this line. Which I don't know if they are because it's just uh, this Bowser and a Mario. The Mario one looks okay, but mm, as I said, I collect. I do a lot of uh, Godzilla collecting, so this guy had to be part of my collection. It's kind of like how I got the. Uh, I can't remember what their official name, but the Pokemon Xenomorphs. I just think these are like a little novel idea. You know, have it on the shelf next to all the other ones. So this has been a pretty quick review of Bowser and Godzilla from BID Toys. So let me know down below what you think of it. And, as always, you can like and subscribe. And I will see you all later.